27-year-old Eric Nshimimana, the eldest in the family of craftsmen, says they are self-employed today and are successful. They say this is because of the opportunities the country brings their way. We are sure of our future because our country gives us opportunities. We are knowledgeable. We have 17 staff. We have started serving from the government bursaries we got and today we are self-sufficient. This, according to many entrepreneurs, has seen them employ their agements, but they say this is something that has to be thought of from the beginning. We shall not wait for us to finish school, to start saving, or think of what to do. We should start early. The Minister for Youth, Rosemary Mbabazi, says that even though there are no numbers to show the contribution of the youth in the country, in the economic sector, a lot is being done by the youth. The country gives them a lot of opportunities and space to give ideas too. They should be fearless and take risks and know they can do it. This 12th of August, the world celebrated the World Youth Day. The First Lady, Mrs. Janet Kagame, called on the youth to keenly take up the opportunities given to them. Dear youth, let nothing be lost upon you. Choose discipline over complacency. For what you make of your world today will be yours tomorrow. High Excellency, First Lady Janet Kagame. This year's celebration is held under the theme Youth Engagement for Global Action. Rwanda's youth between 16 and 30 years account for 28.7%. Those below 30 years account for 70% of the population. 10,000 of them are entrepreneurs. Many programs driven by the government today are in place to support the young entrepreneurs.